So you've had your baby recently, you're happy, you're excited, but you've recently noticed thick, dry, scale-like patches on your baby's scalp and you're wondering what the hell it is? Well, mums, I know you're probably concerned, but don't be. It may just well be cradle cap. Now, in today's video, I'm going to explain to you what cradle cap is and what you need to know about cradle cap. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Novella from Naturally Crowned. For all your kids' natural hair tips, advice, and tutorials, you're in the right place. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you've been here and you stuck with me, thank you so much for sticking with me. But before I get into this, I have a free bonus guide for you. If you're interested, watch to the end of this video and find out how you can actually get hold of this free guide. Okay, so let's get into it. So what is cradle cap, you may be thinking? Well, cradle cap is similar to dandruff. It looks like thick, dry, flaky, scale-like patches on your baby's scalp. All these patches are not painful. They're thick and oily and tend to stick to your baby's scalp. So it makes it hard to actually remove these patches from your baby's scalp. Now, this is very common for babies in their first three months of life. My kids, as I've mentioned in my other videos, they both had cradle cap, very bad cradle cap. Um, so like I described, it was very thick, it was flaky, um, and it used to stick to their scalp. Cradle cap doesn't just appear on the scalp, it can also appear on your baby's nose, on your baby's eyebrows, on your baby's forehead, and also um, in their nappy area. So just take a note of that, that it's not just on their scalp, it can actually, you know, come in other areas. Moms, one thing to note is that cradle cap is not caused by anything you're doing wrong, it's not caused by a bacterial infection, it's not caused by an allergy or even bad hygiene. And the other thing to note is that it's not contagious. The good thing about cradle cap is it usually clears up on its own within about six to 12 months. However, there are things you can do to speed up the process, to make things better, and also to avoid your child from losing any hair. I'm gonna share that with you shortly. But just be rest assured that there are things you can do to make things better for your baby. So you're probably wondering what actually causes cradle cap. And the funny thing is, nobody really knows. However, there are some doctors who feel like cradle cap is caused by an overactive oil gland. So the glands produce more oil than actually needed or caused by fungus. So with a lot of newborns, they're still carrying a lot of their mom's hormones in the system. And this can cause the overactive oil gland which makes their glands produce more oil than actually needed and this is what they believe causes cradle cap. Now with cradle cap there are early signs to look out for. Now with both my kids um, when they were about to get cradle cap I noticed these exact same signs. Now what it was was when I'd wash both of their hair I would notice after I've washed it with shampoo rinse out the shampoo they would have this like white um, film or kind of like this white kind of residue left on um, their scalp so not everywhere but where the cradle cap was about to develop so in the middle section of their hair so the white film um, just wouldn't come off no matter how much I rubbed it it just wouldn't come off now I was very gentle while rubbing it but it still wouldn't come off and that white film um, kind of residue stayed on their scalp um, and that was a sign that I realized that actually this is not right something is happening now when I first saw it on my daughter's hair I panicked because I didn't know what it was but when my son had it I already knew what the sign was so I didn't panic and eventually it developed from white into brown scale like patches flaky thick dry skin on their scalp and that's how it developed into the cradle cap so look out for that sign if you see that white film white residue on your baby's scalp that is a sign that your baby is getting cradle cap okay mom so i know you're probably thinking is there anything you can do to prevent your baby from getting cradle cap now the unfortunate thing is there isn't anything you can do to prevent your baby from getting cradle cap if they're going to get it they will get it and if they're not going to get it then they won't get it however 
you can do things that won't make the cradle cap worse or won't aggravate the cradle cap and also most importantly you can do things where you know your baby won't end up losing hair when babies have cradle cap a lot of babies end up losing hair because of how you know parents treat their hair at this stage but there are things you can do to prevent hair loss so with that being said there are a few do's and don'ts when it comes to cradle cap now the first do is you want to wash your baby's hair once a week and not more you need to use a sulfate free shampoo when you're washing your baby's hair and during a time when you're washing your baby's hair to remove the scales and the thick flakes from your baby's scalp you want to make sure that the hair is saturated with water and the shampoo and you want to gently use a baby brush in a circular motion to gently remove the flakes or the scales from your baby's scalp another way to do it when it's not wash day is to soak the affected area in a lot of oil either olive oil coconut oil avocado oil there are other oils you can use but those just to name a few soak the cradle cap in the oil for up to 30 minutes or you can even do it overnight once the um, cradle cap has been soaked in enough oil for enough time you then want to use a baby comb to gently lift the flakes off your baby's scalp slowly if you're not able to do this easily this means that you haven't soaked the cradle cap in enough oil or you haven't done it long enough so you want to make sure that the scalp and the cradle cap is soaked in enough oil to be able to remove the cradle cap from your baby's scalp easily Okay, so the biggest don't is you don't want to pick the cradle caps or the scales, the flakes with your fingers. Don't try and pick it off. Don't try and scrape it off. Don't try and do anything without firstly soaking the cradle cap, the flakes, the scab, whatever it is, in oil first or on wash day. You also don't want to use any harsh shampoos. You don't want to do too much. You want to keep it very, very simple. Don't use any adult shampoos. Keep it very simple. Use a non-sulfate baby shampoo to remove these scales from your baby's hair and also not to dry your baby's scalp more and just make the situation even more worse than it needs to be very very gentle um, when you're removing the scales you don't want to cause any infection or you know encourage any hair loss so be very gentle make sure that the affected area soaked in oil first and also another thing is mums please don't panic it's very normal it's very common all you need to do is follow the simple steps which is soak the hair in oil first be very gentle when you're lifting off the flakes and that is it like it's not complicated just keep it very very simple of course if you are concerned and you know the cradle cap is taking too long to go or you notice that the cradle caps become infected it's become swollen it's leaking fluid then please go and see your gp as soon as possible as this could be a sign of infection or just another problem so please definitely see your gp if this is the case so guys that is it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like like, comment and subscribe and share with anyone that you feel may benefit from watching this so guys i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you next week tuesday take care bye